Hello and welcome to this video of Revit MEP. In this video, we are going to learn about the plumbing system. So while in this video, you will learn how to add different plumbing fixtures, understand about different plumbing fittings, and also you will learn how to add pipes and the pipe fittings to create the layout for the distribution system. So first of all, let us see what are the tools which are involved in creating a plumbing system or a pipe system. Before that, let us go to the project browser and understand about the different pipe systems that is available for the plumbing layout. So here in the project browser, go, go to the family head and below the family heads, you have the pipe, piping systems. So expand the piping systems and you will find that there are different type of piping systems that are available for plumbing as well as for firefighting. So since we are using a plumbing template, so there are different types of uh, plumbing or piping system that are available. We have a below ground piping system. Double click on it to see what type of system classification it is having. So the system classification of this type of piping system is a sanitary one. So here we have the all all the symbols like the two line drop symbols which is assigned as yin yang, two line right symbols assigned as yin yang field and so on. And then also you can see the materials that is assigned as by category and there is a graphical overwrite for the piping system. Let us inspect another piping system which is the domestic cold water. So the domestic cold water, the system classification is domestic cold water, the fluid type is water and the fluid temperature is 16 degrees centigrade and the fluid conversion method, the flow conversion method is predominantly flush valves. You can click on the drop down list in the cell corresponding to the flow conversion method under the value column. You can select the predominantly flush tanks as the flow conversion method as an alternate option. But let's keep the default option as predominantly flush valves. Choose the apply button and the OK. So here you can see you have got different type of piping system that you can use for the piping. Now let us see what are the settings that can be done before you create the pipe networks as well as the plumbing system. For the plumbing systems go to the systems tab and here you have got different types of options that can be used for a plumbing system. You have a pipe, you have a pipe placeholder, so under the plumbing and piping panel you have different tools over here like the pipe tools, the pipe placeholder tools, the parallel pipe tools, pipe fittings, pipe accessories, flex pipes, plumbing equipments and plumbing fixtures. So in this video you will learn how to use all these tools to create a pipe network or the network for the plumbing. So before that, let us see what are the settings that is involved for the pipes. In order to look into the settings, click on the drop down of the plumbing drop down here and there is a button over here that will take you to the plumbing settings. So here if you click here in the button, the mechanical settings drop down list will be displayed. And over here you can see that in the left hand side of the dialog box, there are different settings over here under the pipe settings heading. So first option is the angle option you can see if you click on the angle option the right hand side you have got fitting angle area in which there are two radio buttons here one is the use any angle and the other is the use specific angle so if you click by default the use any angle radio button is selected it means that Revit will use any angle supported by fitting contents but if you want to have the specific angle for the fitting you can click on the radio button use specific button and can select the angles at which the fittings has to be fitted in the layout. You can click the conversion option. See, in the conversion option, if you see in the right hand side, there are different system classification for which the conversion can be made. Let's say for the domestic cold water, or domestic hot water, the these conversions can be like when you're converting from a layout to a pipe network. The conversion can be for the main, the pipe type can be a standard and the middle elevation. So these are the conversions that you can have for the domestic hot water. Similarly, you can have conversions for different types of 
system classifications. Segments and sizes over here, you have got different segments for which different sizes, size catalog is mentioned over here. You have the column for the nominal diameter, column for the internal diameter, you have column for the outer diameter and then you have got column which is used in size list and used in sizing. So here let's say we go with the nominal diameter of 6 mm, the internal diameter is 4.4 mm and the outer diameter is 6 mm. And if the checkbox is selected corresponding to this size, that means that when you are doing a sizing of the pipe, this size will be used in the used in sizing. So this is the checkbox that will be used in sizing and this will be used while you are selecting the size from the drop down. Fluids, basically again you have got different types of fluids that you can define for the pipe and then the fluid is defined by the temperature and the dynamic viscosity and the density property. So the dynamic viscosity can have variable values based on the temperature over here. So you can create this chart, you can create a new temperature chart, you can create a delete, you can delete the existing temperature and so on. Slopes of the pipe can be defined like you can have different slopes over here. If you can add a new slope, let's say 1 is to 1 is to 10 if you want to add. So you have this, you can create a slope definition over here and then this particular slope will be added. And finally, you have got calculations for hydronic networks, calculation for pressure drop. You can have different methods for the pressure drop, the Colebrook equation or the Harland equation. And for the flow, you can have the plumbing fixture flow calculation method, which is according to the 2012 IPC table. Now, let's go and look how the pipes can be created and then we will be understanding about how to connect this pipe with the plumbing fixtures. So here before we go for the pipes, let us see what are the pipe types which is available here. So how to create pipe types, for this again we have to go to the project browser, you have to go to the pipes option here and then under the pipe types you have a CI pipe that is a cast iron pipe, you have a plastic pipe and a standard pipe. Let us take a plastic pipe. So in the plastic pipe type, the system family is pipe type and then you have the routing preferences. Choose a edit button corresponding to the routing preferences parameter under the value column. You can see the routing preference dialog box is displayed. Now here you have got different contents like the pipe segment. What, are, what is the type of pipe segment that you are going to use? You can click on the drop down list and select the pipe segment that you are going to use. For here the pipe segment is PVCC 27272 and the minimum size of the pipe shall be 10 millimeters and 150 millis. Similarly, for the elbows that you are going to use, you can select the elbow from the drop down list. The elbow is, in this case, it is elbow plane PVCC standard and then it says it takes down all the sizes. There is no minimum and maximum size. The junction, the preferred junction type can be T and TAP. We have by default it is T and the sizes are all. The junction, if it is T, then what type of T it is? It can be a branch 90 degree plain PCI, but by default it is plain PVC as the elbow and the pipe segment is PVC. Cross, it is again the cross would be PVC standard. Transition is a bush reducing plain PVC standard. Union is a socket plane. The flange, you don't have any flange currently and the cap is the cap plain PVC standard. Now let's go along with this routing preferences to create a plastic pipe or a PVC pipe. So here when you click here in the pipe tool, you have this the type you are going to select. So you can select the plastic type from here and then you define the middle elevation. So the middle elevation is 2750 for this pipe. You, if you want to have the different middle elevation, you will see based on the diameter of the pipe, the middle, the upper and the, let's say I take 150 millimeters and you can see that the upper N2 and the lower N2 bottom is changed according to the, I can say apply. So now if I want to create a pipe, that is a PVC pipe and the middle elevation is 2750, I click on the screen and I can see that the standard and end elevation are the same. So what we can to do is we need to select the apply option. So here what we need to now uh, after the apply button it is now worked out. So make sure the fine option is selected from the view that is view style uh, from the detail level option uh, in the view control bar and click here. Now you can see the temporary dimensions are seen. So while you are creating this, you can 
go with the tag on placement that will so you have a pipe with a tag now the tag will be displayed as 150 millis you can change the scale from here to see the tag properly say 150 millimeters and from here if you keep on creating the pipe you can see that the pipes are created and the tags are also see so with this pipe go to the 3d view of this so i go to the project browser i go with the 3d view so i can see that the pipes are created at a particular height so if i go with the fine option you can see the so here you can see the pipe over here is basically a pipe type plastic you can change you can change the size let's say if i want to go with the size of 100 mm so you can see a reducer is created over here so you have a transition here or which is a bush reducing plane so you can have different type of transition for this particular pipe neither to say that if you want to start adding more pipes to this particular layout you can right click over here you can draw use the draw pipe option from the shortcut menu and then you can change the middle elevation let's say if i want to have a pipe at three four meters so i say four meters is the middle elevation apply there will be a vertical pipe which will be created similarly there are options like automatically connect and inner rate elevation inner rate elevation is if you choose the inner rate elevation option if you click here it will inherit the elevation of the end pipe so you can see the pipe is now created at different height now this is something how the pipes can be routed or created so you can have different different pipe uh, types and also if you look into it uh, you know the the type of the pipe is plastic but the system type can be changed it's a hydronic supply let's say i wanted to make it as a sanitary so if i select this entire pipe i can change the pipe type to sanitary but it is not possible over here because the system is selected so if you select any one of the pipe you can change the system type to sanitary it will be changed into sanitary so you see the entire system type is now changed to sanitary with the color of green because the color of the sanitary pipe override was for the type it was green let's see where the green color was given go to the pipe system over here and in the sanitary over here double click over here and you can see the graphic override graphic parameter over here choose the edit button now you can see the color is green so i'm changing it to blue so that it is reflected in the model so this is how the pipes can be created of different types so material over here is a pvc pipe so now in this video you have learned how to create pipes but before that other things that before we end this video we wanted to tell you about some of the options over here like for example if i want to connect any pipe let's say here if i have connecting a pipe you can see a t junction is created right if if i wanted to add certain uh, fittings over here let's say if i wanted to add a fitting at this pipe so i just wanted to have you know I want to add a fitting over here so if i can get a pipe fitting by loading the family insert load family and here under the pipes so you have the pipes folder go to the pipes folder in the load family dialog box and here you have this fitting option so under the fitting option you have this uh, pvc under the pvc you have a schedule 40 folder socket type and you have got different types of piece so I'm taking a P, you know, you, I can take a Y plane, let's say, Y plane PVC schedule 40 DWV fitting type. So I wanted to put it over here so that I can have a Y junction over here. So I'm going here with the system tab and then in the plumbing, under the plumbing drop down, I have the pipe fitting. I choose the pipe fitting tool and then over here I make sure that the Y plane PVC schedule 40 DWV standard option is selected from the drop down list. Now if I bring the cursor towards the connector of the pipe, I would see that the fitting is created. Now the fitting takes down the size of the pipe which is basically connected to. Now you can see this is what is the option that Revit gives you for creating automated routed pipes. So from here, if I click right in one of the connector and if i glow with go with draw pipes you can see that pipes will be routed from the connector that you selected 
So this is how you can add fittings to the existing pipes. Now in the next video you will learn how to add plumbing equipments and then connect it with the pipe network whether it is a sanitary whether it is a drinking water means it can be a domestic hot water cold water for distribution or for sanitary plumbing you will learn about different systems in revit nap thank you for watching this video